do a getting ready with me video mostly because I wanted to feature the IT Cosmetics brushes that I just talked about in my last review video of them. I'm so obsessed with these, so I just kind of wanted to show you how I use them and you can see live how they apply makeup. I also just like to do this once in a while to catch up with you guys because a lot of times I pre-record my videos and I never kind of know when they're going to be scheduled to go up. It just depends on editing time and my schedule, but this is like one of those videos that I'm filming in real time. So I'm filming this on a Thursday and it'll be posted on Tuesday. So the stuff that I'm talking to you guys about in this video is current. So I thought it'd be kind of cool. I'm starting out with just this primer spray because I only put on my Origins Vita Zing today and some eye cream. This has SPF in it. I never leave the house without SPF and I had Addie's Playgroup at the library this morning. So I didn't have a chance to do my makeup, so I'm just doing it now, and I like to use this kind of just as a refresher to just prep my skin and get it ready for makeup application. So that's that. I'm out. I, don't, I get so winded so easily. I don't know what my problem is. I'm going to just kind of take you through my current makeup routine, the products that I've been using. A lot of these you've heard me talk about in recent favorites and features. What am I trying to say? A lot of these I featured in recent videos, so they shouldn't come as any kind of surprise to you. I'm going to just start by putting on some of the Je Ne Sais Quoi uh, Lip Treatment Balm just as a moisturizer. And I just realized I don't even have a mirror in front of me. That would kind of be a disaster. I'm going to start by using some of the Sigma Eye Base in Persuade. It's just a pretty much like a skin tone color. And I've kind of rediscovered these in my drawer. I stopped using eye bases for a while. I was just using up my samples of primer potions and things. But I forgot how much I like these because they really just even out your eyelid. And especially for someone like me, I have some discoloration on my eyes. So this works really good to just kind of neutralize everything and give your eyelids just kind of like a blank canvas. I, I always say it, but I wish the packaging was different. These just don't make for good storage. They take up a lot of room. So my go-to eyeshadow, and this was in my favorites video, is NARS Cairo. And I know you can't get this at Sephora anymore. I don't know why, but you can get it on Nordstrom's website. And I'm using this dual-ended Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Conceal and all over number seven, but I'm actually using the conceal side for the shadow. This is a really great fluffy... It's not really that fluffy, I lied. It's denser than, it's more dense than a MAC 217 or a Sigma E25, but it's a really great brush to just put shadow on your lid and kind of use it as an all over color. So I'm just putting it on my lid and then kind of blending up into the crease. And it's a really just, it's a really good just neutral color. And I always bring it into my inner corner too. I just got a text from Miss Marnie. Hello Marnie. Okay. I've been getting like, not lazy, but just trying to do my makeup super, super fast lately because I feel like whenever Addie naps, like lately she's kind of going through a phase where sometimes her naps are an hour and sometimes they're three hours and I never know how it's going to go and I rely on that time to get stuff done around the house and edit and stuff. So. I've been, usually, before, I would use her nap times as my time to shower and get ready, but it's, like, impossible to do that now because she, sometimes on those 40, or 40 minutes or an hour naps, she wakes up and I get got nothing done, so I've tried to whip through my makeup process lately. This is the Super Cat uh, Black Eyeliner and really, really great stuff. I would say it's very comparable to the Stila, Ico... Physician's Formula, all those. I've tried them all. They're pretty much all the same. They do the same thing. Really haven't been doing much of a wing lately. I just kind of like thickening that lash line because I've been wearing false lashes and it just really helps to disguise the band. My mom is actually over right now. I hear them. She's watching Addie and somebody's not happy. I think she wants to come upstairs and my mom told her no. Okay, 
So that's eyeliner. I do a quick coat of mascara before I put on my false lashes. This is the It Cosmetics. <laughs> I always want to call this the Hello Lover lashes, but it's Hello Lashes. So I just do one little coat. I'm just, this mascara wand is really great at separating your lashes, but I have found over time it kind of gets clumpy. Just so much product comes out on the brush, so you have to just wipe it off before you go full on your lashes. If you guys have video requests, leave them below. I feel like I always get the same requests, and I don't want you to think they're being ignored. I just, I do plan on showing you my makeup collection updated kind of unorganized right now that's why I haven't shown it yet and I just haven't had time to organize it the way I want right now to show it to you it would just you'd be like that was the biggest waste of a video ever because I have no rhyme or reason on how it's organized and I also want to do a tour of this room but I don't want to do that until I get my vanity organized uh, I want to do uh, the planner video is coming. I ordered a few more things from Erin Condren and I'm realizing that their shipping is not the greatest. It's not very quick and I understand like a lot of the orders are personalized and customized so I can understand why they take a little while. I did have some personalized stickers made which is probably why my order is taking a little bit but it's like so frustrating because I'm somebody that is very like I need instant gratification and I hate waiting. So that video is coming where I can show you more into my planner and how I decorate it, but I'm still waiting on some things to do that. What else? I know everybody wants a bag collection video. I still am like, that's probably been my most requested video since I started on YouTube, but I don't know. I just don't know how it would be perceived, and I just, I know some people just would attack me for it. So I don't know. Never say never. I might, maybe one of these days. Maybe if I like hit a crazy number of subscribers, <laughs> subscribers I'll do it, I don't know, I don't know. And I'm going to be doing an FAQ video, I've been getting a lot of uh, questions, side note, I'm applying these lashes, these are the Eyler number 117's, this one still looks perfect, and I think I've used these like 11 or 12 times now, this one I'm starting to be a little concerned about. It's um, probably going to be the last time I use these. I said that the last time I wore them, but it's kind of getting a little bit worn, which is fine. Like I said, I've used them 11 or 12 times, but um, I just love these so much. I need to order more. So I just take the back of a really skinny brush to apply the eye glue, and I've been using this one that I talked about my favorites, the Salon Perfect that I found at Walmart. It's an amazing eyelash glue because it applies very thin and obviously sticks all day and the best part is like when you go to take the lash off the glue off rather it um and the lash it it just the glue comes off in like one swipe which is really great so I just want to grab a pair of tweezers really quick so you just let that glue get a little bit tacky before you apply tweezers are definite must-haves when you're applying false lashes let me just tell you Okay, so I usually just look down. I've had a couple questions on how I apply these. I look down into a mirror, put the put the end, the outer edge on, and then take the tweezers to put the inner one, the inner lash down. God, I love these lashes so much. There's nothing better than a worn-in pair of lashes. It's almost like they know exactly where to go. There's no, like, fussing with them. Like, they just go exactly where you need them to go. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to be filming an FAQ video soon. I think instead of having you guys post comments on a video, I'm going to just do an Instagram post. I feel like it'll be easier to keep track and answer as many as I can. I've been a little bit nervous to post that video or open up for questions, not gonna lie. Uh, a lot of people have been wondering how I'm doing and I totally, I totally get it. I would be wondering the same thing. 
and they want me to, you guys want me to put like an, an updated blog post or something and I don't know. I'm doing really well though. I'm doing super really well. Super, super really well. Um, so I just, I've been kind of hesitant because I just don't know. I let, you guys know I like to keep, I like to keep some stuff, most stuff private, personal, especially with the ordeal that I've been dealing with. It's very personal and there's a child involved so I'm trying to be respectful and I'm trying to be mindful of that. At the same time, I, I do like to share things like that with you guys because when I first wrote that blog post, I was hoping that it would touch touch people and that were going through similar things and help in that way, but I wasn't sure how it was going to be perceived and the response that I got as far as like support was amazing and on top of that I got so many emails and messages and comments from people like that are going through very similar things and they thanked me for it. I'm going to link the blog post if you have no idea what I'm talking about in the description box below. And so that kind of just confirmed that it was a good thing for me to do and it made me feel a lot better about it and didn't make me have any kind of regrets. And I, I feel like I was able to help other people. I've talked to so, 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 like more people than, I don't mean this the wrong way, I've talked to more people than I would have liked to about it because of their own personal situations. That makes me really sad to just know there's so many other people going through it. At the same time though, it makes me feel really good that I was able to reach a different kind of audience. So I do want to kind of update you guys on stuff or answer questions that you might have without being disrespectful. So that will go up soon. I'll post like an Instagram photo where you can just leave your questions there and I will just answer as, I, as much as I can and be as candid as I can be. Um, so that's, those are the videos that are what's, that's coming up that you can look forward to. If there's anything beyond that, things that you want to see, leave them below and I will, I'll do that for you. So foundation wise, I've been trying to use up this one. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up. I don't have that much left and it actually broke. The little like straw is in there. So I've just kind of been dabbing this on the back of my hand. Uh... There is. I was going to say maybe there's not even any left and applying it with my finger and then either a brush or a beauty blender. Today I'm going to use the Flat Top Kabuki from IT because it's amazing for liquid foundation. It's even better for powder foundation and I just want you guys to see it in case you were looking for a new foundation brush. I have lash glue in my hair. How does that happen? I'm so warm right now. Okay. So here we go. This is the flat top kabuki from it. It feels so good. This is a really great brush for mineral powder foundation. I used it a couple times with my Laura Mercier loose powder and it's awesome. It's a great brush. It's a great brush. I'm not saying this you need this brush in particular, but this style brush from any brand you want to get it from, I recommend because it's just so great for so many different things like liquid powder. You could even use it as a chisel for contour. It's really, really great. And it's I can't tell you how soft it is. It's incredible. You know, when I first used this foundation, when I, my cousin brought it back for me from Italy, when I first started using it, trying it, I loved it so much. I thought it was amazing. I loved how it made my skin look. And I don't know if it's just old or it's what's changed, but I'm not a big fan of it, which is why I'm trying to finish it up. I, I don't know. I just feel like it's, it's just different now. The consistency of it is a little bit different. So that is the foundation. I've been using up this NARS Radiant Concealer. I really am like scraping the sides of the tube. I really don't have all that much left. But I'm going to use up till the last drop. And I actually think I'm like enough's enough. Like I really, there's like nothing coming out of this. But I don't like wasting products. 
So this is Conceal. I'm gonna go back over with that same brush and just blend, pat it. I feel like this video is gonna be too long. Too, too long, I'm sorry. If you're like me, you're watching this as you're getting ready, so maybe you don't mind. That's usually when I watch Getting Ready With Me videos when I'm getting ready and I just have it in the background and I'm just listening. It's very therapeutic to me, I don't know why. Then the, such an amazing product, the Smashbox Contour Stick. This came in a three pack. I've really just been loving this one so much. Um, and I just kind of outline where I want it. Then I take this one, the Heavenly Luxe Angled Radiance number 10. It's an angled, very similar to the Flat Top Kabuki. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. Someone else recommended using the um, Milani eyeshadow base stick from, I think it's like Cafe Olay, and I have it. I actually did try using it before I got the Smashbox one, thinking it would be great. But it sets very quickly, which is great for an eyeshadow product. But for a contour, it's almost like you have to use the pencil, blend it in, draw it here, blend it in. And I'd rather like do how I just did it and kind of just mark my face up where I want it to go and then kind of go from there. Then I set everything with my MAC MSF Natural and I have the shade Medium Plus. This is the, my favorite brush from the line that I've tried. It's the Heavenly Ball Powder Brush and it's so, so fluffy so it makes for a really great powder brush. It doesn't pack on the product, it doesn't put it on too heavy, it's just like perfect all over. And it doesn't cover up your contour or anything, it doesn't mask anything, it just sets everything, sets all your cream products. Then I'm going to go back in with just a little bit of this is such a beautiful product. I bought this before Christmas time. They were having a special on their website and if you spend whatever you get like a free um, primer. The number 50 Serum Collagen Veil Anti-Aging Primer. I purchased this with my own money. Um, and I haven't really tried this that much because I've been using up my other primers but how gorgeous is this bronzer? So pretty, and it's huge, and I think it was about $35. This is the French Boutique brush, and I kind of just get a whole bunch of it. I don't, I just kind of swirl it around the whole product. And just kind of go over the cream product. This is more of like a bronzer. I wouldn't, it's not a matte powder, obviously. It's more of like a sunny bronzer but it's not orange tone at all. So you can use it to go over your contour to just deepen deepen it a little bit, but it kind of gives you the best of both worlds because you still get that like really sunny glow without having it really dark. Um, I also really love this. This is their My Sculpture Face little book of contour powders. And sometimes if I want like a more flat defined complexion, I go to this and I use the Smashbox cream stick and then um, usually I use this, this one, sorry, it's the darkest one, and then I use the, these two as like the brighteners, where I want the brighteners, and this is wonderful. I was on the fence about getting the one from Anastasia, but now that I have this one, I don't really feel the need. Every brand is coming out with their own version of it. I love how small and compact it is, and it kind of, the back shows you like a way to use the color, so it's really great. Okay. Blush, this is the blush that I've been wearing in a lot of my videos, CC Radiance Ombre Blush, and it's in Je Ne Sais Quoi, which is the same tone as what I have on my lips, and I wanted to use this because a couple people asked me, on the website it looks coral, like it looks bright, bright coral, and it's not the case, so I wanted to show it to you in person on camera because it is a true pink blush, so don't be deceived. I don't know why, I don't know why it's like that color on the site. I'm using the other end of that conceal brush that I use for my eyeshadow just a little bit and again I'm just kind of over the whole thing. It's just so pretty. 
reminds me of like the uh, ombre blushes from MAC, like Azalea Blossom, not, not the same shade, but just the, the way it's set up in the pan. It's just so pretty. And then I just go over my cheeks with that powder blush, powder brush, again, to just set everything. If you would like, um, I sometimes use this, sometimes I don't. I'll use it today just for the sake of the video. This is the highlight that came in this Matchbox site, site set, and I'm going to just use it down my nose, a little bit under my eyes, under my brows, and right here and here. And if I didn't have Cairo on this end, this would be such a great blush brush to blend what I just did. But I'm just going to use my fingers. Works like a charm. And I like doing this sometimes over the setting powder because it just looks really bright and pretty and you, you don't cover it up with powder. You can kind of leave it looking glowy on your skin. And if you don't have a highlighting stick, just use any of your bases, like your eyeshadow bases. Even like the one I just showed you from Sigma, you could use. They all say, serve the same purpose and make such a difference. So, so pretty. Um, okay, and then last thing I'm going to do is eyebrows. And this is the Universal Taupe Build a Brow from IT Cosmetics. If you haven't noticed, I'm kind of on an IT Cosmetics kick. I'm using their brush with a spoolie on the other end. And this brush is really cool. I talked about it in my review. There's long and short hairs. So it really ensures that the product is dispersed evenly. Like it doesn't go too heavy or too thick. This is what the color looks like. And I always love when they use this on QVC because when you first hear about it, like universal shade, and you see them using it on like brunettes and blondes, you're like, no way. But somehow they figured out the science behind it and they got this shade to really work for everybody, which makes it easy when you're shopping, especially online. It's just one shade. And I really like brow products to just fill in the sparse areas I have on my brows don't need my brows any darker. They're pretty freaking dark, so I just like to fill it in, fill it in, fill it in. I went back to having my eyebrows threaded the last couple times because my girlfriend that waxes my brows has been out of the country for too long. So I always like getting them threaded though. But I feel bad because she's a good friend of mine. I love brushes that have spoolies on the ends. Like, it just makes everything. Okay. So, that is that. That's everything, I'm pretty sure. I'm just going to do a little bit more of the uh, lip stuff just to freshen it up. Such a pretty pink. So, so pretty. And then to set everything, I'm going to use the other half of the primer. This is the setting spray from Scandinavia. Give it a good shake. Felt really good because I'm, so, I'm like burning up. So that's it. Those are how I use the brushes and kind of what they look like and some of the new products from IT that I've not new, new products to my collection that I've been loving and using and trying and I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. This video is not sponsored by them, by the way. If you're wondering, um, the brush video review was sponsored by them, but it ended there as far as like the sponsorship. They didn't ask me to do any future videos. This is all because I just really love the brushes and I wanted you guys to see them in action. I, you guys know. I would not tell you, share with you, even bother to talk about products that I really wasn't crazy about. So I hope you guys 
We'll give these brushes a try. I didn't even know that they have their own line for Ulta. A couple people mentioned that in the comments on that video. So I will be headed to Ulta very soon because I want to just see, you know, see the brushes that they have versus these brushes because I just, I'm such a brush junkie. It's an addiction. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. As always, I love you guys so much and I'll see you later. Bye!